Okay, now I'm, I'm supposed to introduce the man of the moment. Before I go on to any other details, I think uh, Captain Tendon has already given a lot of insight into Captain Zdalby's uh, uh, doings. I would like to uh, just tell you about his professional profile and what he's done so far. Captain Vaibhav Dalvi started his sailing career with Varun Shipping Company as a direct entry decorate in 1988. Joined the world's largest ship management company, V Ships, as junior officer in 1992, rising to the rank of master in 2003. He has sailed on various types of vessels, specializing on petroleum products and chemical tankers. In the year 2012, he was felicitated by V Ships for 20 years of exemplary and dedicated service to the company, the company he still continues to serve. He migrated ashore in 2006 as senior crew manager, was promoted to the position of general manager in 2008 with V-Ships India. Subsequently, he graduated to the position of director of crewing operations of V-Ships India in 2012 with overall responsibility of crewing operations of V-Ships India. He has been recipient of V-Group Excellence Award in 2013 for customer satisfaction for his contribution to safety quality in the year 2014. Captain Dalvi has been part of the investigating teams investigating number of marine accidents, incidents, many of which of, are of serious nature involving fatalities, huge loss of property, huge marine pollution, criminal activities at sea. He has produced number of analysis investigation reports relating to such incidents during his tenure ashore. He has successfully led companies team in India during various crisis situations involving hijacking of vessels with Indian seafarers has been formally commended by organizations such as Maritime Union of India for successfully handling such extreme situations on board. Captain Vaibhav Dalvi has delivered number of presentations from time to time on issues and concerns relating to seafarers at various forums, seminars, conferences of reputed industry organizations. Additionally, Captain Dalvi, he has worked as faculty for various post-sea training courses, including specialized oil tanker safety courses, specialized chemical tanker safety courses. He is on the panel of external examiners of Mercantile Marine Department of Government of India for conducting oral examinations of deck officers in foreign going trade. He is also a member of the Governing Council of Training Ship Rahman, India's most and reputed and the oldest training institute till today. However, ladies and gentlemen, being this his professional profile, uh, when I was talking about Captain Dalvi's professional profile, an incident which uh, I remember, <coughs> and uh, this is a small story. I mean, uh, most of you out there in the audience must have already heard it. Some of you haven't. Uh, there was this little boy who was taken uh, to a mela, you know, a fair by his father. And he saw uh, at a corner, he saw a man selling balloons, those gas balloons which go up in the eye, uh, high up in the air. Now, when you talk of balloons, you are talking about solid colors here, you know, you're talking about red, blue, yellow, green, orange, sometimes black. But he, this, this boy saw a printed balloon. He saw a printed balloon in the bunch. And he has never seen a printed balloon in his life. So he comes and he asks his father, Dad, uh, does, will this printed balloon also go up in the sky like all the other balloons? And the father looks up at him, uh, at him and says, Son, it is not what is outside that makes it fly. It is what is inside that makes it fly. Ladies and gentlemen, we know Captain Vaibhadavi has always had it in him. And this is the reason why he is flying tonight. I would... Saying this, I would like you to just uh, spare a moment. Uh, this is something that I would want to play. And uh, I was driving with him, and uh, he was. Uh, he said, uh, "Just listen to this." And uh, this is an album which is called "Ghana Kosare Kosare." And this is this is this is the <laughs> first Marathi word I've spoken till date, by the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share a rendition of poems with you tonight, which is recited none other than Vaibhav Dalvi himself. And this comes, comes straight out of a music album which is called Ghana Kosare Kosari, whose lyrics are written by his father, Sri Bapuji Dalvi, who is lovingly known as Appa Dalvi. Right? So just listen to this, you love this. Varsha Rutu Dharti Varil Shrungaracha Aprati Mamrut Sohra To Varnitana Appa Dalvinchi Ek Kavita Mante आकाशाला सुचते कविता तेज पारव्या थेंबांची इंद्रधनुचा रंगा भवती भाषा फुलते कंधाची 
समीराला ही सुचते संगीत कड़क बनातुन घुमतो नाद पाषाणाचे हिरवे जावळ फुरळ पाडते हिरवी साद रानो माळी ओला उत्सव वसुंधरेच्या कुशीत निर्झर शुभंकराची पाहून प्रतिभा जळते मी पण होऊन करपूर असा हा वर्षा ऋतू पृथ्वी आणि निसर्ग प्रेमी सारस्वतांनाच नव्हे तर सर्वसामान्यांना मोहवणारा हा ऋतू लहानपणी म्हटलं जाणार येरे येरे पावसा हे पिढ्यान पिढ्यांचं गाणं असो बालकवींना स्फुरलेली श्रावणमासी हर्षमानसी लोकप्रिय कविता असो व कवी मंगेश पाडगावकरांचे श्रावणात घननिळा हे गीत असो हा निसर्गाचा हिरवा चमत्कार कोणालाही वेड लावणारा त्यात अप्पांना निळा नभाखाली फुललेला हिरवा तारुण्याचा मळा न दिसला तरच नवल त्यांच्या एका गझलमध्ये ते म्हणतात मी कधी होता दिला ना तोलही माझा ढळाया मी कधी होता दिला ना तोलही माझा ढळाया आज तू येताच का हा जीव लागे वादळाया साद ही आली धरेची दूर गेलेल्या घनांना साद ही आली धरेची दूर गेलेल्या घनांना ऐकता माझ्या मनाचा मेघ लागे कोसळाया Council Captain Rajesh Tandon, senior most Indian sailing captain of Merchant Navy, Captain Sundar Shastri, <coughs> and Captain Pradeep Datar, my first chief officer, who laid the keel of my sea career and set my compass course right. in the beginning so that i make good the intended true course during my progress at sea i am really honored to have him here because he is the prime witness of the voyage reflecting in my book samudrayan i am really honored to have our director general of shipping gracing this occasion as a chief guest and i must mention here that he had helped me a lot going beyond the call of his duties and responsibilities when i was handling a extreme crisis situation involving a hijacking of a ship having indian seafarers on board thank you sir captain nafde i think he is a very senior 
professional of our field of very high order with whom I shared my book first and I'm really honored to have Forward for Samudrayan written by Captain Nafadi. Captain Rajesh Tandon, of course, he's not only my direct boss, but also my guide and mentor from the time I started my cadetship ashore <laughs> on management side. And of course, all the distinguished seniors and stalwarts of Indian shipping fraternity, Captain P.S. Barve, me too, my, got my second mates from him, sir. <laughs> Captain Varadkar, Captain Subedar, and of course, uh, my teachers from marine industry, Captain Divekar is here. And all of you, my friends, my colleagues, thank you, thank you very much for being here today for the book release ceremony of Samudrayan. It is really, I'm blessed today to have presence of all these people in this function. Samudrayan, the book, is basically exchange of letters. So let me first tell you that I am not the sole author of this book. This credit goes to my parents, my father, my mother who is here, my younger brother Vivek who couldn't be present here today because of more important commitments in USA where he settled and my friends like Amit Chavan who is also in uh, USA, Deepak Desai and Manoj Kamat. Are you there Manoj? Manoj is here and uh, I, I recollect in a letter <coughs> written by Manoj to me in August 1989. August 1989, on page 189 of my book Samudrayan, he had written, <coughs> Vaibhav, there are not many books in Merchant Navy, on the, on the subject of Merchant Navy, and this gap required to be filled. Think about it. Here is Samudrayan Manoj and releasing on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. This book is also of those loved ones, dear ones, like Prashant Dada, my aunts who are here. Captain Surya Khan Savant, who inspired me to join Merchant Navy. I'm so glad he's here. And Suresh Rani Kaka, who accompanied me on my train journey from Mumbai to Madras when I was on my way to join my first ship, Vaidut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the only reason this book is written in English because uh, in, in Marathi, because the original exchange of letter was in Marathi and I wanted to retain its original Marathi flavor on my first attempt to write a book. एकोणीसशे अठ्ठ्याऐंशीच्या ह्याच सप्टेंबर महिन्यात मी नुकताच अठरा वर्षांचा झालो आणि जहाजावर एक डायरेक्ट एंट्री टेक कॅरेट म्हणून गेलो कोणत्याही प्रशिक्षणाविना अर्थात त्यावेळेच्या नियमांनुसारच त्यामुळे सगळंच नवीन होतं जहाज बंदर समुद्र 
वेगवेगळी देश महिनोन महिने चालणारा सागरी प्रवास आणि भरपूर कष्टाची काम आणि मुख्य म्हणजे माझ्या मध्यमवर्गीय मराठी कुटुंबापासून दूर राहणं हे सगळं नवीन होतं आज जहाजावर विज्ञानाने आणि तंत्रज्ञानाने केलेल्या प्रगतीमुळे ईमेल्स इंटरनेट टेलिफोन्स टेलेक्स या सगळ्या सोयी आहेत सत्तावीस वर्षांपूर्वी या सोयी व्यापारी जहाजांवरती सर्वसाधारण नव्हत्या तेव्हा या पत्रांचाच आधार वाटायचा घरून येणाऱ्या पत्रांचा जसं लोक जमिनीवरती पोस्टमनची वाट पाहतात तसे आम्ही जहाजावरती नवीन जॉईन होणाऱ्या लोकांची वाट पाहायचो पोर्टमध्ये जहाज केल्यानंतर कधी एकदा एजंट जहाजावरती येतोय आणि आपल्याला घरची पत्र देतोय अशी चातकासारखी आम्ही त्यांची वाट पाहायचो आणि ही पत्रच माझा तेव्हा श्वास होती या पत्रातूनच मी माझ्या कुटुंबियांच्या मित्रांच्या जवळ जायचा अनुभव घ्यायचो मला बोटीवरून मला जहाजावरती घरून आलेली मित्रांकडून आलेली सर्व पत्र मी जपून ठेवली होती आणि का तर ती पुन्हा पुन्हा वाचता यावीत म्हणून त्याचा आनंद घेता यावा म्हणून जेव्हा जेव्हा जहाजावरच्या कामातून वेळ मिळेल तेव्हा आणि जशी मी माझी पत्र जपून ठेवली होती तशीच माझ्या बाबांनी मी बोटीवरून घरी पाठवलेली सगळी पत्र जपून ठेवली होती आणि नुसतीच जपून ठेवली नव्हती तर त्याचं पुनर्लेखन करून ती त्याचं एक हस्तलिखित तयार केलं होतं आणि हे हस्तलिखित पाहिल्यावरती लक्षात आलं की यामध्ये एका पुस्तकाची बीज आहेत आणि त्यानंतर ही संकल्पना माझी पत्नी कीर्ती हिने लावून धरली भरपूर माझ्या मागे लागून लागून माझे जवळचे मित्र आणि शेजारी श्री प्रकाश पिटकर यांना मी हे हस्तलिखित जेव्हा दाखवलं त्यांनी माझं खूप कौतुक केलं आणि हे पुस्तक स्वरूपात प्रकाशित करावं यासाठी भरपूर प्रोत्साहन दिलं आणि त्यावर भरपूर मेहनत सुद्धा घेतली सो थँक्यू व्हेरी मच प्रकाश ही पत्र त्यावेळी लिहिण्यामागचा माझा उद्देश होता की मी माझ्या जहाजावरच्या नवीन जीवनामध्ये काय काय पाहतोय काय काय अनुभवतोय काय काय नवीन गोष्टी शिकतोय हे माझ्या आप्तांना मित्रांना घरच्यांना सांगणं त्यांनी माझी काळजी करू नये म्हणून चिंता करू नये म्हणून त्यांना सांगणं मी मजेत आहे आणि त्यातूनच त्यांना दिलासा मिळायचा आता मला जी पत्र यायची तिथून घरच्यांची त्याच्यामध्येही मला त्याच्यामधले मार्गदर्शन असायचं मी जहाजावर काय करावं काय करू नये याबद्दलचे काही विचार असायचे त्यामुळे सत्तावीस वर्षानंतर सुद्धा आज तुम्हाला या सगळ्या पत्रप्रपंचाचा गंमत वाचतील वाचताना त्यातून एक एका प्रशिक्षणार्थी कॅडेटची दैनंदिनी उलगडत जाईल असं मला वाटत मी हा अठरा महिन्याचा सलग काळ जहाजावरती पाण्यावरती कसा काढला त्या काळामध्ये कुठच्या कुठच्या देशात गेलो कुठची कुठची बंदरं पाहिली कुठच्या कुठच्या बेटांवर गेलो सुवेज कॅनाल पनामा कॅनाल सारखे कालवे पार करताना काय अनुभव घेतले वादळ तुफानांना कसं तोंड दिलं एक कॅडेट म्हणून माझं मेंटरिंग दातार साहेबांकडून कसं होत होत आणि एक नाविक म्हणून माझी डेव्हलपमेंट कशी होत होती हे सगळं त्या पुस्तकात आलंय असं मला वाटत अर्थात मी समुद्रावर जगलेले हे सगळे क्षण अनुभव सर्वसामान्य मराठी वाचकांपर्यंत पोहोचवणं हा या पुस्तकाचा उद्देश आहेच परंतु मला वाटतं मर्चंट नेव्ही हे क्षेत्र 
जॉईन करण्यासाठी जे तरुण उत्सुक असतील त्यांना या एकंदर क्षेत्राबद्दल माहिती देणार जहाजावरच्या दैनंदिन जीवनाबद्दल कामांबद्दल माहिती देणार आणि एकंदर या क्षेत्रामध्ये येण्यासाठी त्यांना प्रेरणा देणार असं हे पुस्तक ठरावं असाही एक माझा उद्देश आहे आणि हा उद्देश अपना सर्वान आशीर्वादाने सदिच्छेने पूर्ण होईल अशी आशा व्यक्त करून मी मज मनोगत थांबवतो जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र थैंक यू वेरी मच आई वॉज लविंग